It's game day for the Barry Colts tonight. They're taking on their Highway 26 rivals, the Owen Sound Attack, for the first time this season. Uh, stay tuned because I will be doing a live stream from the Saddle and Arena before puck drop tonight. Uh, so if you're uh, not sus subscribed, uh, be sure to hit subscribe so you're notified when that live stream takes place. But uh, this video, I want to talk about some news items, starting off with a trade yesterday uh, where the Barry Colts, first off, they claimed Austin Elliott off waivers. Uh, he was playing for the Saskatoon Blades, but because of their overager situation, uh, they released the goaltender and uh, no one put in a claim from the Western Hockey League. So he ended up in the OHL where he was picked up by the Barry Colts and then traded to the London Knights for a 14th round pick in 2026 and a conditional fifth in 2027 so not too bad for the colts who only picked him up off waivers and then uh, sent him off uh, to the london knights uh for elliot this answers a question for the knights organization because we know they have the offensive depth and the defensive depth it was just the goaltending would they look elsewhere and uh, that's exactly what they did because the london knights of course got off to a bit of a slow start but they were off to a slow start last season as well it took time for uh, players to return that's what we're seeing again this year, but uh, the Hunters deciding uh, Elliott will be their goaltender of choice this season. He actually has some pretty decent numbers uh, from his career in the Western Hockey League. He appeared in 85 games last season. He had a record of 58-14-5-1. Uh, so he's uh, got a winning pedigree uh, in net for the Saskatoon Blades, and he'll bring that now to the London Knights. His career save percentage, 906, so not too shabby. And uh, his best season was the 2022 23 regular season where he posted a 9-11 save percentage and a record of 25-6-3. Uh, so uh, Elliot uh, with the team, uh, he'll be practicing with them. Wait and see uh, when he will get his first uh, action with the Knights. Uh, maybe it'll be as soon as this weekend. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, it's a tough situation with the overagers because you're only allowed to dress three overagers. You can have more than that on your roster, uh, but that's where the numbers game takes effect. So as a result of this trade, the London Knights have released Owen Wilmore, who had the start this season. He appeared in three games, uh, one win, uh, two losses, an 843 save percentage. So some tough play there for Owen Wilmore. And last season, he was not too bad. He appeared in 23 games. He was, of course, the backup to Michael Simpson. He had a record of 16-4-0-2 and an 899 save percentage. And then the playoffs came in relief uh, in the OHL final against Oshawa. Uh, where he registered a win uh, in the playoffs and he had 966 save percentage, although that was in three games of work. So it's a tough situation uh, for overagers because you're only allowed the three, and especially for goaltenders. Uh, typically, you'll see a team that wants to be a contender. They'll have a veteran netminder in net, but if it's a team that has an extra away goaltender and they're looking to move, the market can be kind of tough, and that's what we're seeing right now uh, with Owen Wilmore, although he could be claimed by another OHL team or a team in the queue or in the Western Hockey League, but uh, we'll have to wait and see for Wilmore. But with that, uh, Alec Leonard has also been released by the London Knights as they've now dropped to three overagers for this season. For Leonard, he was originally drafted by the Niagara Ice Dogs in 2020 in the second round. Leonard, he spent uh, a full season with the Ice Dogs, and then the second year was traded to the London Knights. His best season was 2023-24, uh, where he played 66 games, four goals, 14 assists, 18 points. And for Leonard, of course, uh, an OHL champion after winning it last year with the London Knights. So with uh, Austin Elliott joining the Knights, uh, that means uh, he's the, one of the three overagers. And then you also have Landon Sim, who will be the second OA. And uh, also Jacob Julian will be the third overager. And that's it. They've figured it out, uh, their overager uh, positioning for the London Knights. Now, there's uh, another goaltender that I believe uh, should get some recognition. It's Finn Marshall of the Sudbury Wolves. He is now 5-0 to start his OHL career, and he's the first goaltender to do that with the Sudbury Wolves since Uka Pekka Lukanen did it in his uh, first year and only year uh, with the Sudbury Wolves. So Finn Marshall, he was drafted in the 2022 OHL priority selection in the 13th round Pick number 246, now getting uh, his time to shine in the crease of the Sudbury Wolves. He had a 40-save performance for his first career OHL shutout against Peterborough last week, and he's looked stellar. And I know Sudbury Wolves fans pretty excited with uh, what they have right now with Finn Marshall. And, of course, you still have Nate Krawchuk between the pipes. So that was the question mark last year. Uh, the goaltending and systems, 
Now you've got a new coach with Scott Barney, and the goaltending seems to be pretty steady. Uh, so this Sudbury Wolves team uh, could surprise, I think, some people in the Ontario Hockey League. We'll have to wait and see uh, how the uh, the play goes from here. If they can continue this momentum, of course, there's the off-ice stuff with Quentin Musty, but all signs right now are pointing to a pretty decent Sudbury Wolves team. Now, the final uh, news item to talk about is Brian Kilray. Uh, of course, if you're a fan of the Ottawa 67s, you know who he is. Uh, if you're a fan of the OHL and you haven't heard that name before, well, he spent 40 years with the Ottawa 67s organization as head coach, also time as a general manager, and was really the one that created the culture with the 67s. Uh, won championships, Memorial Cups, and uh, he's actually turning 90 years old on Monday. And with that, the Ottawa 67s are going to have a, a celebration on their game Sunday afternoon when Ottawa takes on the Barry Colts. It's Brian Kilray night. Of course, he'll be there. And uh, the team has some special uh, surprises there for their former coach and general manager. And for Brian Kilray, he set the record books with wins. Of course, Dale Hunter, the London Knights, uh, he's second in wins trying to catch Brian Kilray, but uh, still, it'll be a great time at TD Place as they recognize their former coach. So those are the news items for today. Just want to do a quick video here to talk about the trade and uh, some standouts. And uh, let me know in the comments section down below your thoughts on the trade. If you're a fan of the London Knights, are you excited to see Austin Elliott uh, take to the net for the London Knights? Or were you kind of hoping Wilmore would have uh, gotten a few more starts before a move was made? Love the interactions. Thank you very much for all your support. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Talk to you again soon.